Now we come to the verse which we started off with, and he was not, for God took him. Uh, if you look through this passage, you'll see that Enoch and Elijah were two people who have a unique experience being taken out of the world to be with the Lord without seeing death. If you were listening when I read through Genesis chapter 5, you'll notice that every name in the book ends up with a, saying, with a word which says, and he died. And he died, the consequence of the fall is death, uh, and as a result of Adam's sin, death came into the world so it speaks of all these people who followed uh, after Adam, including Adam himself, with the word, and he died. If you look at the passage on Enoch, it doesn't say, and he died. It says, and he was not, for God took him. And the book of Hebrews says, by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. And he was found because God had taken him for before he, before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. So Enoch was taken without seeing death to be with the Lord. Uh, is that possible? Well, if you're a skeptic and you don't believe the Bible, then obviously it's crazy. It couldn't possibly happen. If you believe the Bible, if you believe that God means what he says, then God can do anything with his creation, and God can take somebody without them seeing death. Now, why this is significant, especially for us, and I believe we are living in the last generation before the return of Jesus, is that the Bible says that the last generation of believers in the Jesus Christ, at the time of the second coming, will also have this experience, those who are alive at this time, of being taken to be with him supernaturally without seeing death. Something which they call the rapture, we call the rapture of the church.